Hey, Aaron. What you doing? Oh, hey, Francis. You know, working on some art. Cool, cool. So, um, when are you going to do another video for Dugongs? Eh, it'll be fine. I'll get to it. You know, it's been like a year since the last one. And, you know, Lucian's supposed to be alabaster white and not red? The time of heroes was over. It was the time of not quite so heroes. Join the adventures of the Cephalus Squad, a bunch of nerdy ass marine biologists playing Dungeons and Dragons on Dugongs and Sea Dragons. So, hi, I'm Francis. I play Callie, the Asimar Bard. And while I'm not rolling dice with my marine biology friends, I study the behavioral ecology of sharks. Quick recap. When we last left the Cephalus Squad, they had stopped a scary, mysterious humanoid from destroying the ship of the Queen's Desire and had split the party. One group to go talk to Reynolds about the not-a-seal, while the rest stayed to explore the ship. Oh, and it looked like the players changed the split between episodes, because we have our stuff together. Carl is, um, communing with the gods. We here at Dugongs and Sea Dragons would like to remind you to please drink responsibly. Huh? Huh. That's weird. It's cold? Hang on, I got this! It's in here. One, two, three. Uh. Does anyone have detect magic at all? Any of the body types? Uh, nope. That is a negative. Uh. Who are you? Oh, hey dude, I'm Callie, this is Marmo, Leo, and Professor Fancy Pants Lucian. What's up? Uh, hello sir. We are here as representatives of the current owners of this vessel to examine the contents, remove those items, make reparations, and see if this ship is seaworthy. This was my ship. Who do you say owns it now? Uh, like attorney-client privilege? Know you the man, Reynolds? Oh yes, absolutely! Uh, Lucian, after this we should talk about how you know things we should keep to ourselves. Reynolds did this to me. Reynolds killed you? In a fashion? A, like a fashion mishap, or... Reynolds already lost the ship. Um, um, speak to my lawyer. Uh, well, uh, the ownership of this vessel has transferred from him to another party through means of gambling and games of fortune, of which he lost and apparently forthwith embarrassed quite fully. <laughs> well, that was gnarly. Can I go back to looting now? Do you want to check it? Eh, I'm just messing with you. It opens. Ta-da! Is the lobster, like, special? Dude, aren't those, like, the ghost's boots? Yep. Give me the cloak. Instead of regular leather, the cloak is made from the skin of an elasmobrink, a group that includes sharks, skates, and rays. Elasmobrink skin has tiny intrusions called dermal denticles that are like little teeth that are smooth one way and gritty the other way. With the boat completely looted, the group leaves the boat with an acrobatics check. Yeah. Dude, that was so weird. Reynolds! Hang on, I'll use thromaturgy.
Fun fact, true seals have a harder time lifting themselves up because unlike sea lions, they don't have a pelvis. Not sure if this applies to fantasy sludge seals. Anyway, he ruined my favorite shirt. We want to see Sverdrup. So, you don't like Reynolds any more than I do. What would you say coming to help me instead? I could pay you 100 gold. Let's just take this and see how it goes. It does let us go up the coast, which is quite nice. And with a quick intelligence test. This embarrassing role brought to you by Crack and Dice. Crack and Dice, let's get cracking. Why don't you get a day, get yourselves in order, and see if you can't find a ship to take you to Capeland? Unfortunately, sailing doesn't look like an option as the day starts dark and stormy. So, what did I miss? So, with the day to themselves, the Cephala Squad heads out to see about buying some supplies for their upcoming voyage when Callie notices something strange going on. Guess this isn't gonna be a shopping episode after all. Come on! We should get out of here. Come with me if you want to live. Clog? Hellish rebuke! Whoa. Come on dudes, in the storm drain! Okay, who are you and drop the bear? Who is this rat girl and who does she know? What is the Cephala Squad going to do now that they're in the sewers? Whatever happened to Marigold? Find out on the next summary of Dugongs and Sea Dragons. Or just listen to the podcast. You can see us live at AwesomeCon in DC this August. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and all that, and I will see you next time.